Greetings everyone, my name is Dom, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your FPS for GTA 5. Now, this is probably the most in-depth in -depth and most effective tutorial out there at the moment, so, you know, this is how to do it. Let's just get straight into this. So first up, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your file explorer and go to documents. You're then going to go to Rockstar Games and then GTA 5. You will notice that there is a settings.xml file in there. You're going to right click on this file and click open with and then open with uh, wordpad or notepad or whatever you have that displays text. Upon opening this document you will see that there is a bunch of stuff that you may or may not understand. It is all very technical. Uh, but you will just want to look out for um, post effects value, uh, DOF value, which is depth of field, and SSAO value. These are the ones that are most taxing on your system and requirements, and so these are the ones that I definitely recommend changing. But anyway, you will want to press Control F and then um, put in one of these lists and then change it to what is in the video. Change post effects value to zero, DOF value to false, and SSAO value to zero. Just go ahead and click file, then save as, and head to the link in the description to download a file or a program called Advanced System Care. Now from here you can just run the tree like this. It's really easy to use software where you scan your whole system and it picks up any viruses, any anything. You can also get a premium code off the internet, it's really easy to do. Um, and then also uh, set up the the turbo boost mode and this is the only game booster that actually boosts your FPS that I found anyway. Razor Game Booster didn't do anything for me but apparently it has for other people so it might be another option for you, to, for you guys to try. But anyway. Next up hit Windows key and R and type in prefetch then delete all the files in there and then do the same for percent temp percent. Next up, just go to your control panel, go to system, then advanced system settings, then hit on performance options and tick adjust for best performance. After you do a bit of tampering around with the in-game files, then um, you can go ahead and download the latest drivers for your system, whether you have an AMD card or an NVIDIA card. So um, for AMD, you just go ahead and choose like desktop graphics, I have an R9 series card, mine's a 280X, um, and I'm on Windows 8.1 64-bit. And then you do display results and download the latest base driver. For NVIDIA, it's essentially the same thing. Next up, uh, you want to go into Task Manager. You need to do this by actually making a shortcut or um, doing Control, Alt, Delete, and then clicking on it. You want to go to the Details tab, if it looks like this, and just go for more details. You want to go to the Details tab up here, uh, find GTA 5, right click on it, do Set Priority, and put it to High. Let's, let's move on to optimizing our settings. Okay, my friends, now we are in GTA 5. It is looking absolutely fantastic. I don't have any of the fixes actually applied. To this game as of yet, it's being a bit stuttery for some reason, I don't know why, but, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to show you the settings that I run at, um, if I go into here, these are the settings that I suggest to you, now, full screen at 1080p is, um, better than windowed at 1600 by 900 for some reason, I get better FPS like that, you can turn it down to 1600 by 900, it does lower VRAM, so, Maybe a good idea to do that. Um, something else you may want to do is turn down MSAA to uh, two times. Turn off VSync. These three don't really affect your FPS. Texture quality, put everything on high. I have reflection on ultra, reflection MSAA on four. Water quality on high, particles very high, ultra. Soft shadows, I like soft, sharp shadows because I just prefer the look of them. Post effects is very high because I like the depth of field effects. Um, although, if you did the game files, then this should be off. 
the depth of field effects. So, yeah. In which case, you can just set that to high. Or whatever it is to... What was it? Uh, yeah, so just to high. Um, anisotropic filtering, I put that to 4 times. 16 times is overkill. Um, and 8 times it's just unneeded. So 4 times is best. Ambient occlusion, normal looks okay anyway. So, and tessellation smooths out the edges in the background. So very high. That's what I have. On advanced graphics... advanced graphics I have high resolution shadows off because it takes up a lot of VRAM. I thought it took up a lot of VRAM. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically it. You don't need to extend the distance scaling because it's just background stuff you don't see. So if we get into it, I'm getting 40 while recording, 50. So you can see the FPS in the top left. So not too bad. So yeah, those are the settings I run up. Makes the game look great. Makes the gameplay fun. Come here. And makes the game worth playing. And easy to run. If it doesn't show the FPS well, for whatever reason, then right now I'm getting 40 while recording, which means I'll probably be getting 60 when not recording. But anyway guys, if you did like this video, then do show your appreciation by tapping that like button. I love your face, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Shit. Damn it. GG Michael, GG.